C. Lindelof videos, solving exponential equations. In this specific case, we're going to be solving exponential functions that do not require logarithmic um, attention. So this is just same base. And if you think about it this way, before I do this, start doing these series of problems, if you think about it for a second, if I said 3 to the x is the same as 3 to the second, well, the answer is kind of obvious, isn't it? We have 3, 3. So it would just be x is equal to 2, isn't it? Or if I said to you 5, 5 to the 2x is equal to 5 to the 4th, hopefully you could see that 2 times something would have to give me this 4 because these things would have to match. This and this would have to match if the bases were the same. So this just turns into a problem of 2x is equal to 4, x is equal to 2, and if we check it, we check that, remember this was 2x here, 2 and x goes here, right? We said x is 2, so this 2 is this one. 2 times 2 is 4, and 5 to the 4th is 5 to the 4th. So that's kind of the premise that we're going to be working on right now. I'm going to start with some pretty simple ones and see if we can't get this figured out. It's actually terrific math, so try to follow along the best you can and let me know what you think. I look at this and I'm like, okay, this is not great for me right this second because this is 4. This is a base of 4, and this is a base of 1. So my bases don't match. So again, I have a base of 4 here. I have a base of 1 here. That doesn't work very well, except for the fact I know this little secret, which is this, that any number other than 0 raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. So 5 to the 0 is equal to 1. 3 to the 0 is equal to 1. 19 to the 0 power is equal to 1. Anything raised to the 0 power other than 0 is equal to 1. So check this out. So can't I do this? So what I think I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to replace my 1 because 4 to the 0 power is equal to that 1 that was right here, right? Let this 1 be the 1 that was here. So I'm just going to replace it and say, this is still 1, isn't it? Now I look like bases. So now we just end up with a very simple algebra problem, which is 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. Let's do my algebra. 2x is equal to negative 3. x is equal to negative 3 halves. So x is equal to negative 3 halves. Well, I, I think that that's true. Let's take a look at this for a second. I'm going to bring this problem down here for just a second and say 4 to the 2 times, and we figured out x, that x is this, so negative 3 halves plus 3 is equal to 1. That was our original equation. Remember, this was a 1 here, right? So we look at it. We end up here with 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 over 2, and negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. And negative 3 plus 3 is 0, and 4 to the 0 is 1. So it worked. So let's do a couple more examples and see if we can't get this figured out. I think this is very, very doable. So let's just try our next example. So let this be example number 2. So example number 2 looks similar. We're going to take 5 to the 3 minus 2x power is equal to 5 to the negative x power. This is all I care about, you guys. All I care about is I want these bases to match, and they do. This one is base 5. This is 5 to this exponent, and this is also 5. So somehow or another, we have to get 3 minus 2x to equal negative x. So all, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up that piece right here, and I'm going to just set it equal to each other. 3 minus 2x is equal to negative x. Move these two. I'm going to add 2x to both sides and get... 3 is equal to x, isn't it? And it is. And look, this would work perfectly. Um, if I put this in here, if I put 3 in here, this would be 5 to the negative third, uh, third power. And this would be 5 to the 3 minus 6. And 3 minus 6 is negative 3. It worked again, didn't it? So let's do one last problem and see if we don't have this figured out. Let's do this one last problem. Oh, here, this one's kind of interesting, I think. Let's take this one because it's not as obvious to me. So we have 3 to the 1 minus 2x. So your teacher thinks he or she is pretty clever, so they're going to give you is equal to this. And you're going to look and you're going to say, okay, man, this base and this base are not the same. What you have to kind of ask yourself is do they share a base? That is, is 
3 raised to some power equal to 243. I'm not pretending you should know it off the top of your head, but with a little bit of work with your calculator, you would find out that 3 to the 5th power, I'm going to write it over here, 3 to the 5th power is equal to 243. So I just replaced 243 with 243 in base 3, if you will. This is to say, if I take 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 5 times, I'll get my 243 back. So there it is. Now, you guys, can you see that we have like bases again? So we have a base of 3 here, a base of 3 here. These bases, 3 is the same as 3, so I can just take this down. 1 minus 2x will be equal to 5. All right, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. Is that what I want to do? Sure. I want to add, I want to, no, I want to take 1 from both sides, don't I? I'm going to take 1 from both sides. So subtract 1 from both sides. Get negative 2x is equal to 4, isn't it? Divide both sides by this negative 2. We get x is equal to negative 2. Finished. This stuff is not that bad. Um, people kind of hate it, but it's, I think that it's not too bad at all. I think it's very doable. So let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe.